Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another lot showcase for The Sims 4. So this time I am showing off the Elegant Farmhouse by Margia. And yeah, it is a really nice sort of just conventional suburban home. So let's go to the gallery page so I can show you all the specs before we dive into the showcase of the whole lot as per usual. All right, let's see right here. Okay, so it's on a 40 by 30 lot. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it is valued at 184,178 simoleons. All right, so let's get into this. So one thing that really caught my attention about this house is this little gazebo on the side here. This is really cute, you can like, play chess here so yeah that's pretty nifty and then you got a little side patio here which I actually didn't even notice until now so you can uh, have a woodworking table and uh, barbecue there as well and also there is kind of like a nice little uh, porch area in the front here which I really like seeing with uh, with houses and then when you go to the back here there's a pool area with a bar and uh, I'll pause this for a little bit. And some patio tables and some lounge chairs. So yeah, you got a nice little area here. I do wish there was a bit more landscaping. Maybe this is just left open on purpose for us to build here. I don't know, because yeah, you could definitely put like a lot of plants or maybe put like an elevated hot tub area over here in this corner. I don't know, something like that. At least that's what I would think about doing if uh, I was like expanding on this lot. And that's pretty much it for the outside. It definitely looks really nice on the outside for sure. So let's head on inside. Let's cut away the walls. There we go. All right, so when you come into this house, you come in here and you see this really nice grand piano with uh, this whole living room area here where you can have uh, lots of seats for uh, visiting sims and just like watch TV with them here or just enjoy the fireplace. It's really nice. I really love how this is all set up and the colors match really well with everything. It's it's really nice. I like it a lot. Then you can also go over here. It's really cool when uh, there's like sort of this fencing area here in I kind of see this a lot in modern homes in real life. Uh, so it is kind of nice to see that in The Sims. Let's see, you have like this dining area over here that looks out to the pool, which is nice. And then you do have the kitchen. And yeah, I love having kitchens with lots of space in them. So yeah, especially since I do love having the popcorn maker or the ice cream maker or both if possible, so definitely plenty of room for that. Or even the um, little chocolate fountain from Luxury Party Stuff. And there's a dishwasher too, that's a nice touch. Uh, taking into account some of the more uh, recent stuff introduced with the free game updates. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this little area. Oh, there's like a grandfather clock over there. Oh, there's Kalista. So let's go into these rooms on the side here. I'll cut away the walls for a little bit again. So we got a bathroom over here. This is like the guest bathroom, I guess, because yeah, it's connected to the living room, so you don't need to go through a bedroom to get in here. So you got a nice, uh, nice shower, sink, some counter space if you want to like place some decor there or something, I don't know. And the toilet, of course, because what would a bathroom be without a toilet? I guess a shower room if you had a shower but no toilet. <laughs> but anyways, let's go into the bedroom over here. So this is a really nice uh, little uh, bedroom. It's not, well, I don't know why I said little. It's not actually that little. It has quite a bit of space to it. So yeah, this is a good space for, um, I guess you could say like the husband and wife. And uh, there's this really nice walk-in closet over here that's like, an actual um, sort of room rather than what we got with the objects and get together and yeah this is definitely 
giving me some life right now. This looks really cool. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, there's also a little couch over here. You just want to sit and talk, I guess. And you also do have a view to the backyard. It's not quite as good a view to the pool area as it is in the living room, but it's still something. Alright, so I think I have covered all of the downstairs. Yes, I have. So let's uh, go to the upstairs. Oh. Wow, all I wanted to do was pause the game and it lagged a little bit. Okay. So let's go up here. So this is kind of interesting. It's like built into the roof a little bit. Alright, so yeah, when you come up the stairs, you have this little hallway here. Definitely some room to add some, I don't know, some stuff like maybe an easel or something. Um, so let's go into this bedroom first. So looks like this is definitely made to be a kid's bedroom. Specifically a girl's bedroom. It has like the pink and stuff. Unless of course you do want to like uh, have, a, have like a boy in here, but this is usually how it's approached, I guess. You can have like a girl's room here. I'm assuming there's a boy's room as well. So you got like uh, some modern closet and drawer stuff, drawer stuff. There isn't too much going for it. And then, yeah, okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, definitely going for like, have one bedroom for the boys and one bedroom for the girls. Although, uh, yeah, it is kind of weird. I did notice that there's no door for this room. So what you can do for a quick fix is just do this, clone that door, place that here. So it's not too big a deal, but yeah, if you do decide to download this house, just remember to do that before you start playing or else, well, I guess the Sims and the Sims 4 are smart enough so that they don't try to get into rooms that have no doors. But yeah, just definitely keep that in mind. And then you got this bathroom over here. Not too much to it, but it's nice. And you got the good old shower and tub combo. So if you want to take a bath, you can. If you just want to take a quick shower, then you can do that. All right. Um, okay, so you got another double bedroom in here. I guess you could have this as a guest bedroom if you really wanted to. Or you can have like a teenager in here, I suppose. Because, yeah, these other two bedrooms I'm pretty sure are meant for kids. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I really like this because it does kind of have a little bit more environmental theme, I guess, going for it. Mainly because of the covers. So yeah, that's pretty neat, yeah. So you can use this for whatever you want, I suppose. I was actually thinking recently about how I kind of like it when I have a spare bedroom that I can use a guest, as a guest bedroom because, yeah, like The Sims 4 is a more, more social-focused game. So yeah, then it's definitely good to have a guest bedroom for when you want to have Sims over or whatever. So there actually is an easel in here, I didn't notice that earlier. And one really cool thing is you have like a little lookout here. I love it when houses do this as well, or really any lot for for, uh, for that matter. Because yeah, community lots can do that as well. So you can look out over to the entrances here as well. It just makes me imagine like this scenario where it's like... Um, for example, you have like a family living in here and then the grandparents are coming over to the visit and you hear like the doorbell ring and then the kids run out from their bedrooms up here and they go over here and they're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, grandma and grandpa are here. <laughs> I don't know, just a cute little scenario like that. I just thought of the off the top of my head. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this lot. So yeah, I would definitely recommend downloading this. The only real two flaws I see here is that, yeah, there isn't really much landscaping in the backyard. Although the front is very well done. I really like that uh, you can play chess in this gazebo over here. So yeah, we'll have her do that. And yeah, the missing door, that's kind of weird. A little bit of an oversight there, but it's easily fixed. It's not too big a deal. It's not like as if there wasn't room for a door. You just got to place one real quick. So uh, yeah, definitely did a good job on this house, Margia. And yeah, I'll leave, uh, leave the uh, origin ID for this creator in the video description below as I usually do for these lot showcases. 
And yeah, be sure to leave a like, or a comment, or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content for me, including these lot showcases, uh, my Let's Plays, my oh. info slash thoughts on the <laughs> latest Sims related yeah. news. I'm also starting to do my Sims 4 wishlist videos more often, where I talk about things that I really want to see in The Sims 4 and uh, how I think they should be done. I did one for Cars recently, and I'm working on one uh, about eco-friendly stuff, like the eco-friendly trait and the sort of gameplay I want to see revolving that, like the wind turbines and things like that. And I have a whole list, a very long list of uh, stuff I want to do for that series, so hopefully I'll do those uh, more regularly. And yeah, I will talk to you later guys and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Now this is kind of a nice shot here of Alexander Goth just taking a stroll. Wow. He looks angry for some reason. Well, that's not very good. <laughs>